Yeah, from 9 on, he's in the industrial area. Industrial area. Looks like he's on a pavement. Stand by. Hello, people and sheeple. Pinaki News. Well, today I want to talk to you about the government's definition of policing by consent which is available on their website I'll leave a link in the description if you want to go and read it for yourself which I encourage you to do because it's a joke the whole definition is a joke and I don't think any of it applies to today's policing at all because the police force have changed so much over the years and lost all respect from, in my opinion, 80% of the people in this country, if not more. Anyway, I'm going to read some of it to you. So this is the so-called definition of policing by consent. When saying policing by consent, the Home Secretary was referring to a long-standing philosophy of British policing, known as the Robert Peel's Nine Principles of Policing. However, there is no evidence of any link to Robert Peel and it was likely devised by the first commissioners of police of the metropolis, Charles Rowan and Richard Main. The principles which were set out in the general instructions that were issued to every new police officer from 1829 were as follows. 1. To prevent crime and disorder as an alternative to their repression by military force and severity of legal punishment. This gets funny in a minute. 2. To recognise always that the power of the police to fulfil their function and duties is dependent on public approval of their existence, actions and behaviour and on their ability to secure and maintain public respect. That's good. Where have you come from today? None of your business. Why are you stopping me? Because we're doing some patrols in the area. Who, who am I with? Who are you with? Yeah, who am I I'm with? I'm PC White. PC White. Right Sinclair, mate, 2271. What's the problem? We just stopped here to have a quick chat, that's all. There's no need to get defensive. no need to get defensive. what? Who's defensive? Yourself. How am I defensive? Because you're recording us because you've so really got an issue. recording you is defensive. Uh, a little bit. You've asked us why we've stopped you straight away. We've just come to have a chat. Okay? Yeah, but we've got a chat. A yeah. chat, yeah, I don't, I don't want to have a chat, you want to have a chat, okay. you can't force me to have a no, chat, you're 100%, so can right? I go? You will in a sec, can I go? Am I allowed to go? You okay. can't just force me to have a chat, you've just said, right. it's against my consent, am I allowed to go? If I go now, am I going to be grabbed? Well, why have you and can I go? Because I'm about to walk now, because you like, really got me scared, right. you just pulled up on a side just, I'm going to walk, stop, I'm going to walk, okay? Alright, All right, goodbye, PC White and um, PC Who. Well, they've lost that over the decades, I can tell you. Three, to recognise always that to secure and maintain the respect and approval of the public means also the securing of the willing cooperation of the public in the task of securing observance of law. How are you? Fine, thank you. Good. Are you working? I am. I'm a journalist gathering content for a story. Are you? Is it essential work, is it? It is for my news channel. Are you a key worker? Well, journalists are classed as key workers. Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? I'm sure about that, but you don't seem to be. Have you got some ID on you then, sir? I don't need to show you ID. Okay. This current climate, you do. No, I don't. the coronavirus. Okay, so do you have any idea on you at all? Or we're going to play silly games all night. Let's play silly games if you like. Can I see some identification? No, you cannot. Under what Please. law? I don't believe you're out necessarily. I'll find you £60, pounds, sir. Under what law? What evidence do you have to suggest that I'm not out? Well, you can argue that one in court, sir. The government has said all unless on my you've own. essential work, you shouldn't be out of your home address. I am obviously all on my own. So, you're going to give me some details. What's your first name, please? Okay, so what's your first name, please? Hey, what's your first name? I don't have to give you my details. <clears throat> All right, I'm bored. I'm not going to play silly games with you. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. In fact, I can show you the law where it says I don't. Four, to recognise always that the extent to which the cooperation of the public 
can be secured diminishes proportionately the necessity of the use of physical force and compulsion for achieving police objectives. <laughs> Five, to seek and preserve public favour, not by pandering to public opinion, but by constantly demonstrating absolutely impartial service to law, in complete independence of policy, and without regard to the justice or injustice of the substance of individual laws, by ready offering of individual service and friendship to all members of the public without regard to their wealth, or social standing, by ready exercise of courtesy and friendly good humour, and by ready offering of individual sacrifice in protecting and preserving life. So when we spoke earlier, I'd said, I'd ask you why you're out, you said you were exercising mentally. I am, yes. Okay. I said, well, I don't think that's in the spirit of what's happening. Alright, so what I'm going to ask is, would you be willing to go home? I am willing to go home once the sun sets, yes. Okay, well you've been sat here for about an hour or so. I have, yeah indeed, you've exercising been... mentally. I know, which is not one of the valid reasons to be out. And well it is, valid no reason, one. exercising once a day okay. is a valid reason under the law. And what our disagreement is about is whether this is exercising mentally. It is, yes. So I don't well, think... I'm, I'm sorry but the law doesn't specify what form the exercise has to take. It doesn't. Well, there you go. So I'm within my rights to exercise mentally once a day outdoors for as long as I like. And this is where the disagreement is going to arise. Right, OK. So the letter of the law, what does it say? It's exercising. Right, once which I'm day. doing, yes. I'm meditating okay. here by the lake, All right. by the river. Well, my interpretation of it is that it's physical exercise. But that's your interpretation. That's not what Yours the law is says, is it? Under English common law, we say anything expressly not prohibited is allowed. That's English common law, right? Anything not expressly prohibited is allowed under English common law. It's not expressly prohibited that I sit here exercising my mind on this bench. That's not expressly prohibited under English common law. And you, officer, you've taken an English common law oath of office to uphold our English common law. Okay, so I'm with, happy. With the time at 13 minutes past six, I'll be arresting you. The arrest is under section 24 of the Police and Criminal Evidence Act. Mm -hmm. Okay, in that, I require your name and address in order to process you for the offence of contravening the corona to bring Right, are you going to place me in handcuffs now? Six, to use physical force only when the exercise of persuasion, advice and warning is found to be insufficient to obtain public cooperation, to an extent necessary to secure observance of law or to restore order and to use only the, minimal, uh, the minimum degree of physical force which is necessary on any particular occasion to achieve a police objective. There's your, my ID and check it. Didn't refuse to comply with the rules. That's right, I'm going to wait for another officer. Hand me your keys. I'm not going to hand you my keys. You Why? Keys. I don't need because to. I'm not driving away anywhere. Away. I'm not driving away anywhere. Give me your keys. That's why I pulled in a secure location. You want to be done for obstruct police. What? For what? Obstruction for what? I'm trying to do, I'm I'm trying to do a road traffic check. No, on check you. it. You check it. Go check it. Yeah. Once you give in the. Uh, I'm going gonna, to. Listen, you're going to get into a lot of trouble, I'm telling you. Trust me. You force yourself. You assaulted me. You opened my door. You don't need to get in my car. You don't, have, you don't have a crim Until criminal suspicion on me. You don't. You no. can't just open anybody's car. Okay? Me, I'm well, not give giving... Give me the keys. Look at that. Look at that. Until I know that everything's legit. Everything is legit. You can't just force yourself on me. Give me your hand now. You're damaging my hand. You're damaging my hand. Right. Take off your seatbelt. Take off your seatbelt. I'm not. Look at this. Give me your hand now. Look at it. Look at this. Give me your hand now. Look at this officer. I'm going to sue him. 
I'm gonna sue him. Give me your hand now. For what reason? Give me what your reason? hand. What reason you want to arrest me for? Oh! Give me your hand now. Oh! Let go of the phone. No. Seven. To maintain at all times a relationship with the public that gives reality to the historic tradition that the police are the public and that the public are the police. The police being only members of the public who are paid to give full time attention to duties which are incumbent on every citizen in the interest of community welfare and existence. recognise always the need for strict adherence to police executive functions and to refrain from even seeming to usurp the powers of the judiciary of avenging individuals or the state and of authoritatively judging guilt and punishing the guilty and nine to recognise always that the test of police efficiency is the absence of crime and disorder and not the visible evidence of police action in dealing with them. Well, I'll just read this last little bit. It should be noted that it refers to the powers of the police coming from the common consent of the public as opposed to the power of the state. It does not mean the consent of an individual. So no individual can choose to withdraw his or her consent from the police or from a law. So when you hear these people shouting in the streets, I don't consent, the police don't give a shit whether you individually consent or not. I do not consent. I do not. I do not consent. Resist. Resist. He's not doing anything wrong. Resist. But you've only got to read these nine definitions of policing by consent to realise that what a load of bullshit that is. We're not policed by consent in this country anymore. We're policed by force. Simple as that. And we are policed by the will of our government. As is evident right now with all this bullshit regulations and legislation that they're trying to enforce on us. With this coronavirus bollocks. Anyway... Definition of policing by consent, over and out. I just got a right, right, right at the end there. You've got to talk to me. Put that camera down, or we will tase you. No, 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 no.